Easy. This is how easy. Let me show you guys. Watch this. It's going to be purple. Boom. LD Nat 5. Done. Alrighty, guys. We are back on the Light and Dark Only account. It's been a grind. Trying to do the content, trying to do main account, of course. And then, of course, we've got you know, our Light Dark light dark account as well. Uh, definitely been a little bit of a struggle trying to keep up. I see some of the global players are already at like 400k power. and I'm still struggling over here. Right now, we're at about 332. I don't think this is my strongest team. Let me see what my strongest team would be. It's probably taking out Shushu for AV. Yeah, no, the AV is now my uh, next LD4 star. That's a little bit higher. So for I'm trying to push power in Naraka, this is kind of my team right now. Um, if I go to my monsters uh, right now, Viva Chell, uh, is at 90,000, uh, almost 91. Uh, I could probably throw a couple books on there. Uh, and make them significantly stronger. Mara's at 75. She's my primary DPS right now. Um, my AV's at 72. I just kind of threw some runes on her. I actually got one little six-star rune on her. Um, so that's kind of nice. Not like the greatest, but the defense and the HP, obviously pretty nice. Uh, it's a random shield rune, but you know, whatever. Gave her a lot of stats. Um, my Shushu, wonderful. Bringing him everywhere. Um, Kroa has been super useful. Um, I've been able to get uh, carried a couple times in Naraka, um and you know just people that are just slightly higher level and you know they're doing naraka very well but i'm able to help them out with croa a lot so croa is kind of busted and i'm really excited one day to like use him in a legit like attempt at clearing naraka uh, before the minions go so we've been actually very close a couple times on my main account um and we've actually got really close on this account uh with some really high level people uh to clearing naraka before the minions even uh even spawn can be done croa and windy is the two monsters you want hell yeah of course throwing her in there for a lot of um dungeons and a lot of bosses uh the teon really just kind of comes out for pvp and a couple different things when i need them in spires uh cameron sort of a spires unit uh spires of ascension uh spires of ascension unit crawler and i'll uh i've got vagabond i believe yeah vagabond was my uh, commenter that suggested Crawler for Naraka. So I've got some random runes on him right now, but his skill two right here is the most important one. Um, actually, I need to hand enhance his skill a little bit more. After today's summon session, I'll have a, I'll have some more Crawler pieces I can I can throw into him. Uh, but his skill two here is a, or skill one I should say is a two mana cost provoke, and it gets even better once I get him maxed out here. So this has been my Naraka unit. I'd bring out Crawler, and he provokes everybody for me, and I'm able to, for the most part, clear um, the minion waves on my own, which is pretty nice. Even when I'm getting carried, it feels good to be able to carry on my own. Um, yeah, so that's my my Crawler. Uh, the Tower of Ascension, or the Trial of Ascension. Normal is completed, uh, no problem. Hard, uh, I got all the way to floor 200, and here we are at floor 200. I am a long ways away from getting any sort of bonus or any getting off penalty. Um, in order to even come close to this, I need to probably get um, off penalty at least. So it's definitely going to be a difficult one. Um, I've got a lot of improvements to do on my equipment, which I'll show you here in a little bit. Uh, but what do you guys think? Um, out of the light, dark uh, monsters out there, who do you think is going to be my comp? Obviously, take into account you know, the monsters that I have. Um, but then also, you know, what kind of monsters do you think I could get that would be really useful for floor 200 here, uh, or monsters that I might already have that might be super useful for floor 200. I'll kind of do a quick, uh, run through of these. You guys can see them, uh, not a crazy amount. Hopefully I get something good in today's summon session. Um, okay. So that's floor 200. Uh, as far as the spires, I'm up to level 55 regular. Um, I've done challenges, up to floor 41. There's a couple in here that are really tough. Um, so like in the case of water monster, that's I typically bring like Lulu and then a warrior monster. That's easy. Water monster, Lulu. Um, wind monster would be like a Shannon or a Naomi. Basically, anytime that it requires something, I'm using a free to play uh, monster. I'm using a monster that you get as a part of the, uh, the, the main quest. So as far as my ascension powers, I'm doing pretty good over here. Uh, obviously maxing out a lot of Orbia summoner stuff. I'm kind of going to leave it here for a little bit uh, and really kind of focus a little bit more over here. Uh, and then obviously uh, I've got some celestial and alchemy powers as well that I want to look at. So these are obviously very weak right now. I could do a couple of these 
and it's going to greatly improve uh, my account. So these are super cheap, guys. It's like I know everybody would love to get this next one of Orbia attack, but uh, down here, these provide so much more value uh, and they're relatively cheap, right? So maxing out these are pretty good value. Uh, Light Tower, I, I was doing a little bit of this today. I could do a little bit more of this. Uh, and then Dark Tower, I'm 39 right now. Uh, I could definitely go a little bit higher um, if I manual some stuff. Okay, let's see where we're at. Dungeons. Uh, Kairos, easy. I'm doing my secret dungeons as often as possible. I actually have a Lynn dungeon right now. I'm trying to do those as often as possible. I really want um, Darien. That's, that's one I don't have yet, and I really want Darien. Because uh, he's going to be a decent PvP unit. Um, all the Hall of uh, Magic and then, of course, Hall of Light and Dark. Um, these are easy. I can auto all of these. Path of Growth. Uh, when I need it, these are fine. Um, subjugation. I've actually done a ton of subjugation recently um, because of blacksmithing. So I'll show you where I'm at with the professions real quick. I'm maxed out on everything except alchemy. Alchemy is tough. There's a lot of resources. But now that we have auto, it is a little bit easier. But I'm also capped right now at that 200. They are changing that to, um, what do they say, 1,000? Right, they're changing it to a thousand, so that's uh that's pretty crazy and that's awesome. So I'm glad they raised the cap. It's gonna help me quite a lot. Finishing up alchemy here. But blacksmithing, um, I am working on my Naraka set right now. I have a full Naraka set ready to go. Um, so here's my earrings at the moment. Uh, right now I've still got this one on because it's just doing me better than this one. As you can see, all D stats. So hopefully we get something better when we uh, roll that to the next to the next one. Uh, here's my attack percent bracelet that I got. So it's it's, it's whatever. We're going to take that to six star here soon. And then I've got an HP bracelet uh, ready to go from Naraka. So I'm going to get all these to six star. I've got my uh, foggy prison uh, marble here. So decreases summoner damage taken by 3%. Uh, and relatively decent rolls here. Um, one into crit damage. Um, so yeah, not too bad. So we'll, we'll roll that one. Probably save this one for last. I'm going to work on my other accessories first. My weapons is where I'm really struggling. Um, this one's not a horrible weapon. Uh, it's got crit rate, accuracy, crit damage. Uh, I do use this one quite a bit. But as you can see, I'm really lacking on the weapons. Um, the White Castle and the Naraka have not been dropping these weapons. So I might have to buy some here soon. Okay, um, next update is Dungeons, Path of Venture. So... I'm going to run through all of these real quick, and I'll probably speed through these, so that way you guys can uh, can just sort of see how I'm doing on all of them. All right, so there you go. Level 15 Spider Queen Dungeon. Uh, it's generally pretty safe with Vivacell and Shushu. Um, Shushu, obviously, super OP. But the Vivacell, occasionally Helia will go off and do her own thing. Um, and, you know, she'll be the first one to die. She's pretty darn squishy. Um, but the Vivacell's uh, indoor proc is really helpful for that. It keeps her alive a little bit longer, lets Shushu do his thing. Um, I haven't really farmed this one too much. This one definitely is uh, the hard one for me. I don't really have a great solution for this. Um, I have brought Cassian here. I've tried to do some zinc, um, perhaps with the block beneficial effects. Um, but if you guys have any suggestions uh, for this one, please let me know. This one definitely is a little bit tougher for me. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this one on. Um, and we go with light staff for some of the strips. And I'll let this one play out for you guys. And we'll see how it goes. So, as you can see, level 14, definitely pretty slow. Um, I've had occasional fails. Um, as long as Orbia is landing her strips on her skill 2 light weapon, uh, it's pretty good. But if you guys have any suggestions for me as far as uh, this dungeon, uh, you know, monsters that light and dark that could help with this dungeon, let me know. Um, and I will uh, hopefully be able to build those. All right. Uh, tier glands. So tier glands definitely is trouble. So we're going to go ahead and get the best setup here, which is technically light here. Um, there's also dark, so it's like light I need for stripping, but dark I need for the dots. So that's kind of where I really struggle here. So I'm going to go with light for now. So 
So for this dungeon, I really need some sort of combination of like a strip monster and a dot monster um, in order to really make this happen. Um, Helia also is kind of important for making this happen a little bit quicker. So if I can slot Helia in there, that would be awesome. Um, Shushu is pretty nice because, you know, big heals, the immunity um, cleanses the bleed um, pretty nicely. So I don't know. It's tough. I need a lot of monsters. So if I had one monster that could like both strip and put um, dots on, that would be that would be best. Because right now I'm just heavily relying on Orbia strip for this to happen. And it definitely does fail quite a few times, and then I do get some decent runs like this one. So, as you can see, pretty decent. Um, not too long of a run, level 15 tier glands. All this account has shown me is that Orbia is broken, and Orbia is so good in PvE content. I was struggling with this dungeon on my main, and I was significantly higher level. Uh, Laboratory of Madness, uh, this one, Shushu. Uh, Viva Chell Helia, again, with the light staff, uh, tends to be a pretty good one. Shushu, honestly, guys, broken. I made the video about it a while back. Shushu is amazing. Oh, I forgot that I bring the Mara on this one. Uh, I typically bring the Mara instead of uh, the Viva Chell. Yeah, I think I, I really need to bring the Mara in on this one. I forgot about that. So let's bring in Mara instead of Vivichel, and I think we should be good. Let's try it out. So as you guys can see, this one's really tough. I've occasionally uh, been able to clear this one. So this one's definitely more of a manual dungeon if I really need to. But again, I'm not really farming this one. Level 14 is pretty easy, but level 15 definitely jumps up in difficulty. So that's the one I have trouble with the most, even though I have the Mara. Uh, just a lot of restraints on the types of monsters I can bring. Uh, Lava Cave, Borbo. This one's actually quite tough. Um, Shushu definitely is helpful. Um, I really need... I, I sometimes will bring the Lin in, but Mara tends to do okay as well. So... Uh, we're going to bring in this comp and see what happens. Even show proc the Endure there. So I definitely do occasionally fail this one when on auto. Um, but overall, I've got a pretty good win rate on auto uh, for level 15 Borbo. All right. So that's a uh, little update on that. Uh, expeditions, I do level 3 on everything, uh, including special edition expedition right now. I don't know if I'm ready to push level 4 just yet. So, uh, I do level 3 on pretty much everything. And uh, if I'm not able to manual, like, directly, I'm able to manual pretty easily. Uh, Arachne, I'm able to manual. I mean, uh, auto for Talates. Uh Dark Borbo is tough, and uh, Water Roads is tough for me. Uh, but I can manual those. Uh, Alright, I do have Galago's Boss. So, floor one, Galagos boss. Um, I should be able to do it. Let's see if I can do it alone. Oops. So, we're going to bring the full lineup here. Shushu, uh, Mara Vivachel tends to be my, my go-to. So, let's go with this team for now. We're not going to get much farther in Galagos um, after this stage. We might be able to clear floor two now. We'll see. There we go. Nice. Definitely much faster on this Borbo. Immunity is so good. All right, let's try to get some of my skills back. Let's uh, let's get an immunity. Start out with that at least. We love immunity. And done. It's really easy when you bring three monsters with you. All right, so which one are we bringing? Monsters applies level one of bleed with 30% chance. Monsters applies level three attack up and attack speed up when it's attacked while its HP is low. Yeah, that's fine. All right. So 
I want to, uh, I'll blow through some Galagos a little bit later. Uh, let's see if we have any money for things in the shop. Uh, I am going straight for uh, these light dark scrolls, uh, these legendary scroll pieces. These tend to be the ones that I'm getting. Um, I just don't have as much use for Devilmon, and I don't have as much use for refining Catalyst right now. Uh, I really just need monsters. That's what I need. I need a plethora of monsters, so I tend to uh, go for as many of these as I can. I really need those uh, LD4 stars. So uh, we'll blow through... Stage two, and probably get the other five of these, uh, and then uh, maybe even enough for this light dark scroll. Um, I might not go for the light dark scroll. I might actually go for the refining catalyst because you know, eventually end game, I'm gonna need as much uh, as much stats as I can. So foggy team, pretty easy. I just bring Shushu, shoo, uh, and I tend to bring if I have like decent people with me, uh, then I'll just bring the Croa Helia Shushu combo like this. Uh, that way I can help them out as much as possible with the brands and then with the uh, the Croa. Uh, but if I'm going with more of a team that's not quite as high level, I'll go with something uh, kind of more like this. Uh, or even I'll just go like something like this to help them out a little bit. So that's uh, typically my Foggy team. Uh, Foggy is pretty easy. White Castle we do uh, fairly easy now as well. Um, the Shushu is great. Viva Chell. And then I typically will bring... Uh, the hell yeah. Uh, if my people are relatively high level, right, like 350k or above, um, then we can uh, we can generally hit the threshold, that 70% threshold. So uh, this is typically this. Viva Chell kind of comes everywhere, mostly for the bonus. Um, and then finally, when I do occasionally do Naraka, uh, as of right now, I still got my three to do. Um, when I do occasionally bring... Naraka, I bring, uh, I, I don't have the bonus yet. Uh, the bonus is at 350, so it's going to be a second. Uh, I could bring in uh, her, but I'm still quite a ways. There, I have a lot of room for growth on my Orbia. That's my biggest downside. Um, typically, if I'm getting carried a little bit by some higher level people, I will bring uh, Shushu, Croa, and Helia like this. Uh, that way I can help carry them a little bit with the Croa and with the Helia. So, that tends to be the team that I go with, um, kind of looking for people that are a little bit higher level than me uh, to carry me. So that's been nice. A lot of times people will keep me because of the Sprout bonus. So so working on uh, getting as many Naraka weapons as I can. Right now, I don't have much of anything as far as Naraka weapons. If we come over here to weapons, um, this is what I got right now. Uh, I do have a couple like lower level things and a couple copies in my storage, but I really don't have a lot of great weapons right now. The pieces I've been lucky on, I got all the pieces that I need for accessories, but yeah, weapons I'm really struggling with. All right, let's do a quick brawl match, and then we will get into summons. All right, what's up, Darius? Uh, let's ban your... that one. I have not done any brawl this week yet on this account. It's probably my favorite Orbia outfit by far, for no, uh, no particular reason. We pretty much always first pick Shushu when we can. But my uh, AV is pretty good as well. So we're going to go there. And then I'll typically go Tion Vivichel. Just go the full support night route. Unfortunately, this guy's a little bit on the weaker side. So I think we're going to blow through him. All right. Let's let's uh, let's get rid of his only support to ensure that we beat him. All right. So he bans the Tion. And we're going to soul link Shushu. All right. Let's do this. Let's go for the Brandia. Let's get uh, immunity up right away. Right in the middle of everybody. That's going to hurt. Boom. That's got to hurt. Uh, let's get another immunity up. And Brandy is dead. Uh, Darius is almost dead. Let's get the Naran Ha. Let's proc the Theomars' Endure. Oh, Darius's Endure is gone. I'll switch over to this real quick. We're about to get our strip and pop. Nice. All right, we'll do one more to see if we can get a little higher level opponent. Uh, still relatively low level, unfortunately. And they're always so indecisive. It says LD. Ban one of my LDs. Hey, I mean, that's going to be the thing. Like, as I get higher level in Brawl, 
they're always going to be banning Dark Staff because Dark Staff is OP. So I will only ever be able to bring Light Staff. So I kind of have to like think about my future teams um, with that in mind. That I'll primarily, probably 90% of the time, using Light Staff. Okay, got the Vanessa. Okay, Mara Ariel. So we'll bring this and this. And I think I'm going to get rid of... We're just going to get rid of the Vanessa. So that way she can't revive and we'll try to snipe the Mara. If we're doing okay, then I might switch over to Teon to get more uh, uh, more cooldown. Okay, so Mara's going to be our first one. We're going to try to get some skills up here. Let's get uh, immunity up. And we're going to go pop. And Mara's dead. Cool. Someone's got some destroy runes. Oh no, that's uh, the fire staff on uh, Cleef. Uh, let's go ahead and try to focus Ariel, I guess. We're gonna wait for his next little buff. Pop that off. We'll save our skill too, so we can always get rid of Ariel buff when he gets it. There it is, strip. Got it. And I'll finish him off, there we go. All right, guys, it is summon time. Uh, I wanted to summon today so that way we could get uh, take advantage of the uh, event. There's the plenty of mystical summons event that's going to give us another uh, legendary scroll and it's going to give us a bunch more mystical scrolls. So uh, we have 171 of these. We have a mystical summons of 232 plus all of these. Do math later. Of course, we got a bunch of wind, water and fires. We have 37 legendary summons which is going to be huge um and then we have two transcendence and nine light darks this is going to be a massive massive summon session and i am super excited i know we're going to get some stuff today so um without further ado let's go ahead and pull our first ld nat 5 easy nat 5 easy this is how easy let me show you guys watch this it's gonna be purple Boom, LD Nat 5. Done. Thank you to Girls Guild and Asmodian over there. Um, for and he's a uh, Realms. Uh, he's got a Discord. I'll make sure to link his Discord down there. Uh really awesome guy. And uh allowed me to come and join up with their guild so that we uh I could get some guild raids done and get our get our heart magician here. So super excited. Uh, she is very, very good, uh, especially in PvP and in Galago. So I think we're, uh, this is really nice. Okay, so we got Heart Magician. We are happy about that. All right, so let's move right along and let's blow through these unknowns. As you know, unknowns are important for us. Four star LD four stars are in here. And of course, maybe some new LD three stars. Nothing yet. We blow through these pretty quick. Got some more Frankensteins there. We can finish up the skills on our uh, crawler. Kind of what we want out of here is just the rest of our Frankensteins. All right, that's all those. We'll do one more just because it's here. Oh, right, look at that. All right. Let's do... Um, do, we, do we get the buff? We don't get the buff from summoning um, Celia, so we actually need to do uh, a Transcendence first. All right, so we're going to start with the Transcendence, so that way we can definitely get the uh, Lucky Stars buff. All right, this could be huge, so let's see what we do. God, it's it like... Oh, that... I'm going to... Oh my gosh, come on. LD5 star, LD5 star. I will baby you so much. All right, Alicia... All right, blessing success. I know it's in the blessing. Let me show you the blessings real quick. Um, oh, I need to definitely put, uh, oh wait, here's gonna be the problem is I can't do both Celia and um, Viva Chill at the same time, but I am gonna go ahead and start putting Celia in there um, because I need more pieces for awakening, right? Transcendent summon, we now have the lucky stars buff right down here. Feeling lucky today. Let's get back into it. We'll save that last transcendence. 
Uh, let's do uh, wind summons first. We know we can't use anything out of here, so we're just going to kind of blow through these. Okay, cool. Water summon. Okay. Okay. And last but not least, cool. Uh, let's get this legendary out of here. Fire summons. Oh, got a pioneer. Free to play. And a new one of those. Oh, we got a... Got somebody. There's Brandia. New monster contract. Another monster I can't use. But it is account level. So as I level them up, I'll get account levels. All right. It's time for the mystical scrolls. We have 232 mystical scrolls. There is guaranteed to be... There has to be an LD4 star in here. If not, an LD5 star. Uh, let's do some of these first. These singles. Got a lot of singles to do. I don't know why we can't, like, combine these. Maybe we can, and I'm just a bot, but I have never seen it. Definitely finished up our uh, Dark Frankenstein, so that's good. Ooh, ooh, we got a five-star out of that. Oh, Green Mermaid. I have Chichillid. Yeah, I've gone up against her in a Brawl, actually, before. It was very interesting. I beat it pretty, pretty handily on my main account. Nice. Okay. Time for Big Summons. 232. Woo! LD4 star, LD5 star. Here we come. All right. We got four, L uh, four, four stars there. Nice. Oh, three. Oh! Five star luck. LD5 star, here we come. Oh, uh, we got the blessing. That's what that was. All right, here we go. Nothing. Nothing. 232 scrolls. Got to be an LD4 star in here. Not yet. Not yet. Nothing. Man, Water Lich. If only I could use him in that Rhodes dungeon. Oh, I got Double Blessing here. Nice. Nice. Book stats for sure. That's what we want now is book stats on all these monsters. Make them as strong as we can. Oh, here we go. LD Nap 5. Come on. Feel the Rage of Blood. All right. I don't have them on my main account, actually. Dang it. All right, got another blessing success there, AV. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Nope. Get that legendary. We got a ton of legendaries to do, so... Hold your horses. There we go. Another LD5. Come on, let's go. Ah, we got the blessing. All right, I think that's the full blessing. Um, we definitely want to reset this blessing. And we'll do him and we'll do basalt. There we go. Save those. All right, let's keep going. We do like blessings, but we also like new four stars. Nope. Nope. Ooh, okay, we got a new four star. Uh, what was her name again? Shren. Shren. What does she do? Uh, oh, that's right. She does like an uh, invincibility to herself or no. What does this one do? Recover HP based off damage, defense penetration. Um, even HP ally average. Okay, evens out. I like just soon, right? Uh, remove two harmful effects, so she cleanses and the recovers HP equal to 250. So she's definitely a support. Um, it's like I got a lot of good support, so I'm not sure if this is going to be useful or not. But we will build her eventually. All right. 
Nothing. Okay, lizard man. Nothing. Get our legendary. Blessing. Nothing. Blessing. We love Shushu Blessing. Here we go. Come on. Bomb will knock you out. Everything here. Ah. Meh. All right. Let's keep going. Come on. So many people get LD5 stars. They just like constantly in my Discord. They're just like posting pictures, telling me about their LD5 stars. Hey, is this LD5 star good? It's an LD5 star. Okay, cowgirl. Come on. Ooh, double blessing success. We like that. All right. Uh, real quick, let's go get our um, event currency or our event here. Oh, there's this. I was literally could not be bothered to do this. I have 24 days. So I just have to log in here four more times. Um, plenty of mystical scrolls event. Oh, did I already use it? Must have already used it or something. I don't remember doing that. All right, let's head back to some. Okay. Um, four more of these. One, two, three, four. Ooh, 42 legendaries. Let's see what we get. So many possibilities for LD4 stars in here. So many possibilities. We're going to get another Transcendent Scroll out of this, too. Or more Blessings. Uh, we need our Cilia Blessing. That way we can at least A13 her. Come on, LD4 stars. I really, really need Crow. Crow is my ultimate number one four star that I want. That's LD four star, but not what we want. What do I want? Crow. It's really the big one. There's Crow. -a. Man, the uh, nat fives are not flowing here. Okay. Man. Maybe I could just grab a Darien from here, too. That'd be nice. I don't have to worry about the secret dungeon anymore. Oh, that's the other thing, is I gotta um, build my Dark Garuda for seal. Or if I get a uh, Grogo, right? Grogo, Grogo, Dark Lich. He'd be decent for Seal, too. Nothing yet. Come on. New LD4 star. Got a lot of legendaries left. There is a chance. All right, first one out of our legendary scrolls. Accept your challenge, trust me, I won't lose. Oh, Lupin is, come on, girl. Give me the dark one or something. <sighs> All right, girl. Come on, moving on. Wrong color!
Come on. LD4 star. Crow, 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 crow. Man. You think they'll ever switch out the secret dungeons? Part of me hopes they do, but then the other part of me is like, how are people going to get Shushu then? Because Shushu is just broken everywhere. Man. 23 of these in. Nothing. Come on, come on. Ooh, here we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. This harp will Okay, there's our blessing. Nice. Um, how are we doing on our altar? Yeah, we reset. That's what we do. We reset. Uh, we want Mara. Pretty much all of these. Wait, not there. Um, I don't want her, I don't think. Um, Cassie, definitely. And then we'll go that, and then, of course, we gotta get some, uh, other five stars. So we'll go... Zertides here. And we'll go... You know what? Maybe we get Shan. Post him in there. There we go. Alright. Uh, Altar is ready to go for more blessings. We got 17 more, and then we're gonna get another Transcendent Scroll here. We'll get two... Transcendent Scrolls, and nine Light Dark Summons. So, we're ready to go. Ooh! Nice! Back to back! Hell yeah. Just like that. Just like that. Back to back Celia's. Nice! Alright. We like that. I think that's A14. Right? Am I not wrong? Am I wrong? Wait, we got the one A10 to... Is that A14? That may have been A13. Nice, here we go. Come on, baby. LD, five star. You can't pierce my shield? <sighs> Wrong color. I know it's the blessing. Come on. God, I would treat you right. Come on, LD. Blessing. I would dump everything that I have into this LD five star. Come on. Got nine LD scrolls over there. Ooh, here we go. Come on. Come on. Let's have some fun. Ooh, I don't have him on my main. Really good monster for uh, the tear glands, hard boss. I can't use him, though. Fortunate. One more for our transcendence, and I still think we still have a couple more. Blessing. Ma, wow, these LD four stars are more rare than uh, five stars. Nice, good blessing. I gotta pick up my transcendence. Nothing. Let's pick up my transcendence. Got a couple more of these. Got tons of blessings today, like tons of blessings. So book stats out the wazoo, which does help. It does help. Nice. Like, all we can ask for, honestly, is blessings. Blessings are phenomenal. Gotta get those book stats. We're gonna be so underpowered in so many different dungeons, like, we need to have as much power as possible. Should have one or two more of these. Every blessing imaginable. And let's see, this might be the last one. It is. All right. So that is all the legendaries. Um, we have 
Man, we just blew. <laughs> look out! Look at all those we just blew through again. We're out of resets. Um, wait, can't you get these now? Or we're gonna be able to buy these at some point? I forget where you. Were they gonna be in a shop soon? I think Korea has them in a shop soon. No, these are restoration stones. I do need these. I need to buy some more of those. I thought I saw them in a shop soon. Maybe it was Galago shop in Korea. But they're going to start selling those marbles. Maybe it was the updated battlefield. Not sure. All right. Uh, back to summons. We have nine light dark summons and two transcendents. So let's go ahead and do the nine light darks and we'll save the last two transcendents because we love ending on purple. Okay, here we go. Fortunately, we can't reset for the blessing, but one. Come on. Two. Oh, new. New elemental. He's an assassin. Uh, targets max to HP. Bleed and a lot of attack and then decreases damage taken from fire, water, and wind. Interesting. That is interesting. Interesting passive. Okay, here we go. Nope. Come on. Let's get a four star out of this. Nice, shiny, brand new four star. Nope. I will say book stats on all these other monsters do help because it increases like stats on all dark and light monsters. Come on. Come on. Oh gosh, it hurts. How many do I have left? One more. Oh, it's punishing. Ah, oh, we got another new one here. Uh, Silverback. Uh, upon successful removable or invincible for five seconds, remove attack up. Interesting. Increase cooldown of shoulder strike by 30%. Is that this one? Yeah. Are these the same name? That's interesting. Uh, max HP is decreased cooldown of shoulder strike. I'm guessing it's this one. If Castro has invincibility stun, that's not going to work. I mean, this removes attack up, which is kind of nice for the Rhodes boss, maybe. All right, we got a new LD. We have two transcendent scrolls, and we're done. LD five star incoming. Come on, come on. I got excited, but it's a transcendent scroll. Get out of my way. There's the blessing. The Lagmarod blessing. Don't get excited. It's an LD. I mean, it's a five star. Come on. Come on, baby. I made a vow to protect you. ladies and gentlemen that was our summon session i'm not crazy mad it was a ton uh we do have a ton of blessings uh which really is super helpful um we do have our cilia now so let's go get our cilia there she is and let's go ahead and awaken five her nice uh, I'm going to need to go get some Breath of Life. Here's our Cilia. Let's go and exchange all these pieces. Bundle. Auto select. Going to need a ton of these. Because we got to skill up Cilia too. I just went and leveled up. Or I just went and skilled up all of my three stars. 
my LD3 stars that I have, so that way I can do this and not have to worry about it. All right, so let's get back to our Cilia. There she is. Uh, evolve her. Nice, okay. Uh, let's look at skills real quick. I have 13 Devilmons, because I have nothing else to use them on. So we're gonna use all of these, and then we'll try to get her to like A13, and then if we have to use some leftover pieces, we will. Okay, so let's go here. Let's go to A10. I'm at, actually out of Essence of Life. Um, in order to get to A12, I need 20. So we'll be able to get to A13 just fine. Um, so let's go ahead and finish skilling up using two of these. And then that's good. We just have skill one. That's fine. Okay, so she is pretty much ready. Let's go level up, max it out. Nice. All right, so Celia is pretty much ready. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get her runed up with some good runes. Um, I've been farming the energy dungeon a lot because that's where most of my runes are coming from. All right. All right, guys, so that is pretty much it. Uh, I thank you guys for joining me once again for another episode of the Light and Dark Only experience. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for the Rhodes boss, the uh, the guard rune boss, let me know if you have any suggestions for a decent monster uh, as far as LD, LDs go. Um, as usual, thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, if you have any questions, um, I stream, uh, try to stream about twice a week if I can. Typically, it's on like Thursdays and Sundays when you know updates come out. Um, I've got a link to my Discord down in the description. You guys can head over there and ask me any questions that you want. Uh, my main account, uh, you guys can watch that when I go live on stream, uh, and of course, throughout a lot of videos that I post. So, uh, if you guys like my content, make sure to hit that like button. If you want to keep seeing more videos kind of like this one, just sort of a fun experience, make sure to hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, I'm going to check you out. All right, guys, I'll see you in either the next live stream or the next video. Peace.